week of August. I did a haul a couple of days ago and um, another, good, another good haul on Sunday. So this is what I got. I went out again with a couple hundred quid in my pocket. I think I spent £105 I think in total. Uh, there's going to be two hauls so I'm going to do it again a bit as I did last week. I'll show you the first lot first and I'll show you the second lot straight afterwards. But um, you're going to see the first lot now. And the second lot. Okay, so this is the first lot. So I'm going to run it through again. I'm going to give you some information about what I paid for it, um, how much I paid for it, what I hopefully can get back from it, sort of on there, and um, and any information which I know about it. So starting over. Oh, this is just turned up. I thought that I'll do that next. Yeah, so starting up, the first thing it started off with a Warhammer bundle. Um, I paid £50 for the Warhammer bundle of um, pre heresy sort of people. So you've got some demonites of Slanish, you've got demons of Slanish and the cart. You see, some of it's painted. There's three brand new um, Chaos Dreadnoughts, which will pay the money back just on their own. And then there's a whole army of. Um, sort of space marines sort of on there the reason I paid that much it was from a friend um, from the forces um, he's done some stuff for me and helped me out so I said yeah I'll pay that for you sort of on there so that's the first sort of one right then then we go to the car boot sales so this one here is a bit of a blind box um, she wanted £2.50 for the lot it's just full of um, these random Star Wars sort of wheel things I don't really know too much about these at the moment but it's got an R2 needs a bit of um um, peroxide sort of on it just to dry it up it's got batteries but hasn't working and it's just got the snow speeder and it's got a mini death uh, mini type uh, not death star um, a mini um oh, what's it called it opens up melon falcon there we go there's some little random sort of stuff and there's even smaller ones at the very very bottom so whatever these are I'm gonna go through these and work them out there's a couple of figures in there as well. For £2.50, I wasn't going to grumble at that. Um, then, we're selling climb, uh, horse riding helmets quite quite regularly. I've sold two so far for £30. Picked this one up for a fiver. So brand new. This one's about £50. And they're selling for about, about £30 again. Yeah, second hand. So CPX 3000 riding helmet, children's size. Sort of on there. So it looks quite good condition inside. Right, um, another Tazoo folder. I sold some Tazoos a couple of weeks ago for a folder. Same sort of thing as I paid a pound for this one. Same sort of level as stuff I got £30 for them all. So, um, nice little good sort of hole uh, sort of on there. Sorry about that. Um, noisy from the washing machine and that sort of stuff. And my daughter's quite happy she just found an orange brick breaker in the Lego set she's building. Right, next things we, um, we come over. And these pair of Timberland shoes, £1.50 each. Yes, they're not the best condition when you look at them. I reckon a little bit of boot polish on them, sort of tighten them up a little bit will make them come over. But they got a bit of wear. But for £1.50 for a pair, for two pairs of Timberlands, um, children's shoes, um, I think we'll make a little bit of money out of those. Probably get about a tenner back on each of these pairs. Sort of on there, maybe 15 we'll, we'll see what happens on there. So that's that one. Um, then we've got a Doctor Who phone box. She wouldn't budge on this for three pounds. I've got a Doctor Who set that hasn't sold yet for all the Doctor Who's, so I thought, well, if I put this in with it, it might sell a little bit better, sort of on there. And when you do pick it up, um, it does have noise effects. Um, if I turn it on, see, so it's got the taken off. It's got the taken up thing, and also when you open up the There we go. When you open up, uh, when you open it up as well, it makes noises and that sort of inside there. So let's turn that off. Yeah, so it works. I think it's going to add a little thing to my listing, sort of on there. Um, some Harry Potter books, one pound fifty for the pair, so seventy-five pence each. An adult half-blood prince and a goblet of fire. Still struggling to 
to make a full set. I was just seeing there's a bit of kink there. I didn't see that when I picked it up. Um, it's also going to make a full set of either have Barry, um, paperbacks or thing. I just sold a mix. I just sold a full set of paperbacks um, with with um, Beadle Labard for £28, I think, a couple of days ago. So I'm slowly selling them. Uh, this one here, Tommy Tippy Walkabout, sort of um, two two power packs, two controllers, sort of on there. Pay one pound fifty. They sell for about about twenty quid, sort of on there. Um, all these books. It, this was minded by someone else's stall. So um, the, the owner of the store was away, so I couldn't do any bartering sort of from here. Uh, I got some um, books here, and I bought some other DVDs as well. But they want fifty pence each, and I paid. And there were sixteen of the horrid Henry books. Usually, when I sell these at job lots, I sell them for a pound each plus shipping, sort of on there. So that'd be sixteen pound plus three pound postage. Yeah, it's sort of on there, so £19. Um, this was picked up from a charity shop for 50 pence. Yeah, sort of, sort of brownie, sort of Coca-Cola sort of glass. I haven't seen one of those colours for a while, so I picked that up. Um, this whole bundle, I couldn't remember if I showed it last week or not, but I, um, I put it all up from a charity shop for 20 quid. There's a load of um, Harry Potter books, Mario Kart, Assassin's Creed, and um, two Tomb Raider 1 and 2. Um, sort of on there, so I paid 20 quid for the whole lot. I did actually bark them down a little bit, they weren't a little bit more, but they weren't the, the Harry Potter books weren't actually on the shelf. I found them in the back room, so I had a bit of leverage sort of on there. Um, then I went to another charity shop a couple of days ago as well. Um, I've been watching these Ben 10 sort of things drop in price, drop in price all the time. They were three pounds, they went down to 150, went down to 50 pence each. They have new and sealed photograph binders. Big ones and small ones. I've got the same picture twice, so I'm going to match them both up. So you've got a smaller one and a big one. Sort of on there. And the same charity shop also had this box of Lego. Just move all this stuff out of the way. Um, for £6. Yeah, this is what I talked about in the video a couple of days ago. Some roofs, some big base plates. There's some mixture of sort of Lego inside here. There's some Duplo in there. There's, I think there's a house of some sort from the older sets. Still trying to find a set. Uh, where are the people? Where are the people? They're not the minifig people. They're the ones before the minifig people. Here we go. Now, yeah, sort of these sort of keep people on here. So that's the set there. And back to the car boot sale. So this is um, Polly Pocket Disney Magical Castle sort of fairground ride. I paid eight pound for for this. And she goes. I've also got this bag on here. And also, she threw in a pet shop that was pet shop sort of set, sort of on there. Um, it's got, it looks like everything inside this. It's got all the vehicles, all the toys, sort of in there. When I open this up, um, you can see all the figures are inside there as well. So I'm hoping to probably punt for around about 40 quid. So and there's a little bit of colour, there's a little bit of damage on the top there. So I'm aiming for about 40 quid and see what happens, sort of on there. So. Oh, and the last thing yeah, is um, this Ed the Duck lunchbox. There's no firms inside. I pay 75p from the charity shop. And there it sells. So I think that is everything from the first batch. Okay, sorry. And these three boxes sort of on here. This is my wife's pickup. She paid £15, so £5 a box. And it's just full and full of baby's clothes, all different sizes. Yeah, not, um, newborn up to six months. Yeah, they're already sorted in sizes. So all we're going to do now is to sift through them, see what we can make out. The person did want 50 pence an item and one pound a set. Yeah, but there's far more money's worth than what we picked up inside this for five pound. Yeah, it's sort of on there. So we're quite happy with that. So that's, that's part one. So we're going to come back to you now with part two. Okay, so part two... So again, this is my media haul this time. So starting from left to right, and we'll go over the same sort of things again. So to start off first with this leap pad. Um, I, this is my second car boot sale I went to on Sunday. I usually go for two. I do have four or five to choose from, but um, I usually just pick the first two. One starts at six thirty. One starts at nine ten o'clock. So it gives me time then to click over. Um, I got there near the end of the day, and you can see there she had it for, this is for 10, then she's 7, then for 5, so I picked this up in the end for £5. It's a Leapfrog reading pad, so it's come with three discs and, the, and three books, a couple of Disney books. So you put the disc, the, the cartridge inside here, put the batteries in, 
and then just read along yeah just read along with you so that's that's that that's five pounds so I said I might be keeping it yet or indecided yet it might help with reading we'll try it out first if she doesn't get on with it then we'll probably sell it afterwards so that's the first sort of thing um, next thing coming along this was a pound out of a charity shop the reason I picked it up is because it had a code inside it and I'm about to try it out now and um, sort of over there then a couple of Wii guitars oh a couple of guitars so I should say so first one was Xbox 360 guitar here we pay three pound with the game itself um, it's got a little bit of damage, a little bit of scratch on there, and a little bit of mark on. That's one of those things that snapped off. But the panel itself is actually good. It's got no things, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm but probably going to still probably get about 20 quid for it. And then we've got a boxed Wii World Tour. So again with a guitar, and this one's in very good condition inside that inside there. So again, I've got two other guitars. I've got one cable one and one wireless one. So I might bundle them both together and put 26 pound on. Just so I'm off sort of on there to get some space. So that's them. Um, then we saw someone with lots and lots of Peppa Pig sort of films, and um, we weren't really sure we could do anything. Checked it on eBay, and um, found out there's something for about 30 quid for a big bundle. So we got all these for four pound, and one of the things actually got three discs inside it, and that sort of says extra discs inside there. So that was quite happy with that. Um, got Bob the Builder. <laughs> Um, DVD sets, there's 10 DVDs in there, paid £3 from one seller for one set, then we found another seller selling it, we got it for £2, and then a Thomas set for £5. Um, the Thomas one's the main one to go for, there's more money in that, there's about £30 in that one, there's only about £15 in these ones, uh, sort, of, sort of on there, so the money's sort of mainly inside that one, there's 12 DVDs in there, and there's 10 inside the others, spare amount of mine. Um, I sold this a, a, a while ago, um, I know it was, I think my wife wanted me to keep them, but I sold them, sold them also, I found them again for £3, there's also some Disney codes inside there, so we're probably going to keep them, but never know, if we need the money one day, probably go again, same with these, uh, an NCS bundle, season 1 through to 5, this was bought for um, my wife as well, she likes watching these, but there's major value in them, we never know, uh, we have them all on, on download at the moment, but just want to put them on the shelf. We had to pay up a little bit, £16, but if I'm not reselling them, it's not too much of an issue. Um, then this one here, DVD box set, 10 DVDs for um, £3. Again, very, very good condition. And the same seller also had the books as well for £10, or for £3 for the 10 books. So what I might do is put a photo frame with each of these, just to see if I can get it on that. I've also got a load of Ben 10 figures as well. So I might just make a little Ben 10 bundle, I think. I might put the books with the films with some figures and some photo frames to put them out there for about 45 50 pound uh, as a little ben 10 bundle right final thing i just realized um, i moved them out of the way um are these plushes sort of um super mario plushes so we've got wario tooled um donkey kong jr um sort of on there she wanted three pound each for them all and she would not budge whatsoever um, sort of on there, but then she threw this one in for free, uh, mainly because it had a little bit of damage on there. So we need to get the sewing out just to pluck it up a little bit. Two of them had tags, yeah. So well, so I'm um, King Kong Junior has a little tag. Toad did have one, looks like it's fallen off. Um, and Wario was still tagged, but then we didn't realise because um, I picked them up quite quickly. I didn't actually realise, and my daughter lifted up the arm sort of stitching come away there so probably what I've had to do up there is sell them as used but with tags with um some repair um it's quite easy stitching so we might even get away of it sort of on there so again let's go again over to the next one but um I hope you enjoyed that over like that serenade from a son to sort of singing next to us there we go sing to them he's not gonna sing anymore No. Nope. Okay, he was singing all the time. As you see, we're still inside the house at the moment. It is, um, the carpet's getting fitted over the next few days, so we can actually start moving back into it again and get some normal normality. But thanks again. If you like this, click like down below. Um, subscribe, everybody, subscribe. All your support is most appreciated. Thank you very much. He's singing again now. He's saying, Nana, he wants some food. All right, so see you later. Bye bye.